Hello everyone, this is Max from Dice Design. Today we will install a Dyson or a Dyson X with a Dice Extruder in a Robo 3D. So first thing you want to do is to go to www.dicedesign.com to the stripboard section and download the custom bracket specially made for the Robo 3D. Okay, so now that you print and download the custom bracket, you will have to remove the casing from the Robo 3D and to do it, just remove the four screws that are on the side of the 3D printer. Okay, so now that you remove the four screws, you should be able to remove the casing, the top casing from the 3D printer. Okay, so you remove the casing. Now what you want to do is to remove the fan. And after that, you will be able to remove the two other screws that uh, fix the extruder and the odd end directly on the carriage itself. So for this operation, you will need a screwdriver. Okay, so now that you remove the Odden and the extruder from the carriage, you are ready to mount the Dyson and Dice extruder on the custom bracket right here. Uh, and to do this, you will have to use the fastener that you previously removed for those two holes right here. And you will use two, the two fasteners that are included in your Dyson Dice extruder kit. Okay, so now that you place the bracket itself on the carry edge, you just have to fix the dice extruder directly with the fastener that are really included in your kit. Okay, so now that you put the Dyson and dice extruder on the carry edge, make sure to put the bunch of wire on the right of the extruder because on the end stop, the extruder go pretty flush on the z-axis so make sure to don't put the cable on the front of the extruder so the right side is the best way to do it so and another thing that I don't you don't want to forget is to adjust the little screw on the extruder under it to make the nozzle of the other end really flat so now that we are ready you can put on the cover and make your cable uh, management. If you have any question about how to put the cable on the Robo 3D board, you can go on the website and there will be a support page for uh, this too. Okay, so now that everything's done, you are ready to make the connection on the Odin and the extruder. So the heater, the fan. And after that, you're ready to make it to put uh, the cover on. Make sure that the Z rod are in place in the cover. So now you're ready to put the four side screws on. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any other question about firmware or cable connection, you can go on www.dicedesign.com and go on your support page. Thank you very much. Hey guys, check out our other Dice Extruder and Dice End installation videos 
And don't forget to subscribe to our Dice Design YouTube channel for some awesome videos.